there, Jonas Holmes from Turbo Patcher Pest Control. Today, we're gonna chat all about bed bugs. I'm gonna try to keep this somewhat brief between three and five minutes. I wanna try to pack as much information and give you guys as much value as possible in a short period of time. I know we all live busy life, so I'm trying to help you guys out and make this as easy as possible. So we're gonna chat about things like, you know, what is a bed bug, you know, what they look like, how to prevent them, how to control them, things like that. Uh, first things first, a bed bug is just a blood sucking insect. Uh, it has to live off, you know, a blood meal. They, their, their lifespan is anywhere from four months to about a year and a half. Um, you know, they start out as nymphs. They are yellow. They're really, really tiny, hard to see. Um, looks like the, almost like the size of a pinpoint. And then as they grow older, they turn a reddish, brownish color. And they almost look like a watermelon seed. The female adult uh, can lay up to 12 eggs per day and actually up to 500 eggs in her lifetime. So once you start to see one or two here or there, uh, they multiply pretty fast. Um, they are nocturnal, so you typically don't see them during the day. Uh, if you do see them, they are scurrying across the ground super fast. They are technically wingless. They can't jump, they can't fly. Again, they just run really, really fast. Um, where do, let's just chat about, you know, where do they come from? So more, most cases, you're gonna come from multifamily dwellings, apartment complexes, and the big one is obviously hotel rooms with all the different travel. They actually will hijack your um, backpacks, your luggage, your purse, your clothes, anything like that where you can get into, you don't even know you have them, and then you go home, and then you bring them into your home. They multiply quick, and then all of a sudden, they're all over the place. So if you're staying overnight somewhere, let's just take some precautionary measures to make sure that you don't bring them home with you. Uh, so the first thing that I would recommend is before you even, as soon as you check in, before you bring your, your luggage or bags in there, go inside the room, inspect the room, peel back the, you know, the covers, check the sheets for any brown, reddish stains, uh, peel back a mattress cover, look for those same stains, or if you see a live bed bug, they're gonna be in like the seams of the, um, the mattress, um, box springs, just, it doesn't take long, just make sure you look. If you do come across any of that stuff, or if you do see a live bed, bed bug, I highly recommend that you get a new room, and or even make some different arrangements, a different hotel room uh, for your stay. However, if you do stay there and you didn't check them out, and you're still watching this video, and you wake up and you have bites on you, uh, you know, if you see one, you wake up in the morning, I highly recommend that you go straight to a, um, laundromat and then have them you know wash all your clothes on high heat dry them on high heat i would even recommend uh, you know washing your purse uh things like that uh, next if you're at home and you, you wake up those same welts uh they, they almost look like a mosquito bite and uh, they don't start out as much and then they just start to get itchy uh they don't you know bed bugs don't have diseases they don't transmit diseases however you could get allergic reaction to them but again, that kind of looks like a mosquito bite. They do tend to get itchy. Um, so if you do see signs at your house, or you see those same stains, or if you see a live one come across the road, or across the ground, the road would be funny. Um, I would just peel back you know, all of your uh, your bedding sheets, check it out really good. Uh, they're going to live close by, like in your bedboard, your carpeting. So the things that I would do is take all your sheets, all of your bedding, all of your clothes, put in the washer or dryer. I would vacuum rigorously. I would steam clean your mattress, um, steam clean the your furniture, steam clean the carpets, everything that you possibly can. Heat will actually kill uh, the bed bugs. Uh, again, if it's a really bad infestation and they're multiplying fast, they're gonna be living in your walls, they could live in your light fixtures, your outlet covers, um, your baseboards, all kinds of things like that. Uh, so if you're vacuuming and you're, you're, and you're steam cleaning all this stuff and the next day you're still seeing more activity, I would highly recommend that you give uh, someone a call. We get cut like ourselves with Turf Badger. We can come in there, we give you guys a free inspection, or we can check it out for you guys. Uh, some people use heat treatments. We don't here at Turf Badger. The heat treatments can't, you know, get everything. They can kill everything that's in the room, but as far as walls and outlet covers, you know, it can't penetrate through the drywall, things like that. So we use a couple different products. We have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. 99% uh, of the time we can control everything on the first treatment. However, there are times where we have to come do it back, do a second treatment, but we guarantee everything. So if we have to come back, uh, we'll treat it again and make sure you guys you know, aren't having any bed bugs. Um, if you guys have any more questions or if you guys uh, 
Have any comments, just drop the comments in below. You can give me a call, 920-64-6780, or check us out at www.terrorfactor.com. Again, I hope this is valuable. If you have any more questions, just get a hold of me, and talk to you guys soon. See ya.